Hi everyone, my name is Lewis and this is Traditional Black Powder. Today I want to talk about this guy, the Condor Hudson Bay. Alright, so this is the uh, Condor Hudson Bay and uh, the reason I got this knife is because I was looking for a new letter opener and this one just fit the bill. Alright, well the reason I got it is there was no reason actually. Um, I just saw it and uh, on other reviews that people have done and uh, I thought it was a cool knife. Um, I like the period knives that uh, come, you know, the period from uh, 18th century knives and this is supposed to be a replication of uh, the Hudson Bay, the, the company, Canadian company Hudson Bay uh, from the uh, mid 18th century and uh, it's actually a pretty cool looking knife. I like the way that the blade is shaped. It's pretty traditional. The handle with uh, wood and pins for construction. They actually left, uh, I don't know if you can see it right here, uh, looks like forge marks. So they left that and that's actually a pretty nice touch. And uh, overall it's a pretty nice looking knife if you like traditional looking knives. Uh, let me give you some of the specs on it. Uh, this is uh, overall length of uh, 13 inches and the blade is uh, eight and a half, eight and a half inches. The blade thickness, see if you can see that, is uh, three sixteenths and the steel is uh, 1075. It is uh, a flat grind and uh, it has you know these uh, hardwood handles with uh, brass pins and it's a hefty knife this thing weighs uh, slightly over a pound so it's uh, you know you'll definitely feel it if you're carrying it and it's made in El Salvador so basically why I got it is just that I like the way it looks it's uh, it's a cool looking knife and for the price uh, I got this thing on Amazon for under fifty dollars, and it's it's kind of hard to find something that's this cool for under fifty bucks. And not only this, but it comes with a really really nice sheath. I mean, this thing is uh, some pretty nice leather. You know, it's it's fairly thick and it has this loop uh, that hooks onto your belt so it swivels so if you happen to sit down or something you can adjust it because it is rather a long knife you know the only thing about this sheath is that um, the fit you know it, it's uh, it's fairly loose I mean if you start shaking it this thing's gonna it's gonna come out but uh, the good thing is that it's, seat, it's seated so deep into the sheath that uh, you know, unless you're you fell over or doing cartwheels, uh, it, it's not going to come out. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it. You know, you can always uh, wet form this if you wanted a tighter fit, but uh, I just uh, don't see the point of it because it's so heavy that uh, I, I wouldn't be carrying this around hiking or going on a trail or anything. And uh, it's just uh, something that I would use maybe if uh, in camp and if you wanted to do some. Uh, some heavy duty stuff, you know, uh, splitting some wood, you know, for a fire or, uh, you know, some chopping, then uh, this would fit the bill. But uh, I, I would not want to carry this around uh, trekking around the trails. And as far as uh, implementing this into my muzzle loading, well, not really. I mean, this would be a, a heck of a patch knife. I mean, it's just, it's just too big, you know. But it is a cool blade and for the money uh, kinda hard to uh, for me it was hard to pass up because I just think it's a really nice traditional looking blade and uh, the transition between metal and wood it's really nice I don't feel any bumps everything's finished fairly good the the handle itself uh, I have large hands and uh, there's still more room there's still room so it's not a problem um, I like the guard over here where it, you know, it will keep your hand from going forward and I guess the only thing that maybe it's missing since this is a, 
a pretty large knife is maybe a lanyard hole here so you can you know wrap it around your hand once you do it but then again uh, I don't think in the day uh, since this is supposed to be a replica that uh, they had lanyard holes they weren't they're pretty much a solid piece no no lanyard holes so maybe that's why they left it out they trying to stay true to uh, the uh, the period which is fine with me it doesn't it doesn't really matter you know but it's a heck of a it's a heck of a knife for uh, for the price. Fifty bucks is uh, pretty darn cheap for what you're getting. You know, when I got it, it wasn't as sharp as uh, as it is right now. I put it on the stone, but you know, literally within three or four minutes, um, this thing was cutting really nice. And uh, I don't know, ten seventy five seems to be pretty easy to uh, to sharpen. So pretty cool. You know, the ergonomics are pretty nice. Um, it's, com it's it's a comfortable knife to have on hand, and I think it looks really nice too. You know, and like I said, given that it comes with such a great sheath, um, well, the price is just amazing that they can actually sell it for that much. You know. So, anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick show of this knife. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, go check it out, you know, because, uh, like I said, for 50 bucks, uh, you're not going to uh, uh, make a mistake. Um, it's a great-looking knife, and if you like period knives, this thing uh, is going to be uh, a nice addition to your collection. So thanks a lot for joining me, and until next time, keep tradition alive.